How's it going everybody? And welcome back to another raid video. And we're going to be talking about the update and what is going on with the raids. Are they harder or what's going on? Yes, in fact, they are harder. Um, I tried to solo an RK9. It had Snarl and Crunch, right? I used Golem, I used Rhydon, and Gyarados and Dragonite, okay? I had like, had it down to about a quarter health. Oh, and by the way, enjoy these level 4 raids. Uh, these are from after the update. So it looks a lot different. Can you tell? Snorlax is huge and Machamp looks tiny. Everybody looks tiny. I love it. Um, the very last one is going to be a uh, Tyranitar raid. And that's the old way. I just threw that in there. So anyways, um, yeah, I tried to solo this RK9, right? And I, I kept on having like... 25 getting it down to like 25 percent and time would run out i was like what what is going on here this set that it has is good but my pokemon were able to beat it and get it down to you know zero health and have at least five seconds to spare or more or like you know something like that but not anymore it seems that they have increased the defense of the raid bosses yeah the defense or the health um that's my conclusion. That or they are, have lowered the time. And the time is now shorter. But I'm pretty sure they're tougher. They've got more HP and or defense or both. And enjoy these pictures on the side. This is from the Legendary Raid uh, trailer that Niantic released. If they seem a little grainy, um, sorry about that. I, just, I pulled them from the video. So anyway, back to the raid bosses. They are extremely hard now. So before, you would be able to take out Tyranitar with, say, four people, tough people, trainers, uh, tough Pokemon, and you guys would be able to handle that, right? Not anymore. You need eight. You need eight or seven. Snorlax, before we soloed it with the five people, one of which was like a level 13 or 20-something, and yeah, we did it, and we had time to spare. Not anymore. <clears throat> I just did it with about, we tried, let's, there was four of us, me and another Valor and two Instinct. All of us being pretty good trainers, right? And guess what? We had it down to maybe a little bit less than half when time went. I couldn't believe it. Yet they increased the um, difficulty of these raid bosses. That's a, a given. Uh, it's it's here and that's what it is. Everything looks nice and it's not smooth. Um, I, I was fooled. I thought everything was fixed and the glitches and the gym and all the lag. It's not. It's a better. That That is for sure. It is better, but it's not by any means fixed. Not even close. You still lose your health. You still get the death loop when your Pokemon dies. You still take the damage if you dodge at times, sometimes, um, it happened two times today to me, so it's pretty wacky. Um, we got, we're, we were able to take this Charizard with four of us. Um, pretty good. Proud of you guys. That was pretty nice. So um, they are increased the difficulty. It, 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 it's. I have to go ch test out the Gengars. I have to go test out the Alakazam and um, the other raids. I'm gonna try the twos. Because what if that's the new three? Like, you're going to be... People are going to be making soloing level two raids. Executors and mucks. It's like, oh, no. Huh. But, um... Anyways, so yes. They, they, they increase the difficulty. Um, you don't believe me? You can go test it out and see for yourself. I personally can see... And uh, I've seen, uh, I'm in a big chat and they're like, yeah, that there's this something different about these raid bosses. We're not able to do it anymore. Because, for instance, you know, we'd go over to a Tyranitar. Oh, we've got six. All right, let's do this. Uh, you, you might be able to do it at six. I haven't tried the Tyranitar yet. Uh, but I've done the Snorlax, the Charizard, and the RK9. RK9, I couldn't, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it anymore. It's, it's crazy. Um, and it doesn't look like they they made it so it's just out of reach. Even if you have max Vaporeons, even if you have max Golems, all of them. Although, I'm going to tell you this. Uh, the maxed out Golem with Rock Throw and Stone Edge is going to be the new star, I'm telling you. It's going to be taking out these legendaries. And 
it was doing work on that RK9. Like seriously, it was it was putting in work. I deleted that video because I didn't realize what was going on. I thought it was just a glitch and it was it was screwing me too because its health would go down and then it would go back up. It was doing that baloney, but that's not the only thing. It's their health actually has been increased or their defense, something's going on here. They didn't tell us, I don't think, there was no notes mentioned or anything like that. But um, yeah, the raid bosses are definitely no, like, you're not going to be able to solo level threes. Like I said, I need to go test out Gengar and all that. So anyways, um, I'm going to let you guys enjoy some of these raids without me talking for just a minute. And I'll be back to talk some more here in a second. Okay, looks like apparently I'm Scarlet Witch now. All right, so we're gonna be doing the Lapras here. We had nine of us. Let's just take a look at the massive uh, increase of health or HP that they were given. I don't think the word massive is correct. I should say the boost or the buff. All right, so we're going at it. Typical uh, damage I believe giving out I don't think they increased the damage that you take maybe they did slightly um, but when I was soloing that RK9 I really didn't notice an influx of damage given to myself as I was dodging it seemed like uh, about the same as before all right so we're doing pretty good here uh, a lot of good trainers here um, it's just like you you better go into these with nine or 10 now uh, because or I should say from seven to eight probably gonna want yeah seven should do you good but you, you can't go in anymore with like say four or five and you're pretty tough um, ain't gonna happen <laughs> it's just uh, we can we can try I can do some more experiments but to be honest with you I don't really feel like wasting any more um, uh, potions because I, I seriously use so many on that RK9 I was so tripped out man I was sitting there like, are you serious? What What's going on? At first I thought it was the time. Or well, not the time, but the a lag. I was like, here we go again with this lag baloney. Are we serious, Niantic? But then I, as I started playing more, the lag was there. Its health was going back. I was getting ripped off nonetheless. But that's very minuscule compared. I, would, I should have been able to bring it down even more. Its health was up too much. It wasn't even into the red. It, it was incredible. And so I was just confused. Uh, but anyways, I'm going to get these items and then do the catch. Go ahead and enjoy that.
Okay, so we have another Charizard here, and this is also from after the update. So we can check this out. Um, so the, yeah, tomorrow, uh, I gotta announce this again. If you guys live in Alaska or Anchorage, um, tomorrow we're going to be meeting up downtown. I'm not gonna be there right away, but everybody else is, should start showing up pretty fairly early, as early as eight, um, around town square, I do believe. So if you wanted to hang out and see other trainers, come on down tomorrow, downtown, town square. It should be a good time. And not to mention, GoFest is, you know, coordination with the world. So you might not want to really miss this if you play Pokemon Go a lot. Because, you know, all the little things going on. The challenges and say, well, I hope they pick the grass one. Because to be honest, I want Stardust. That's the main thing. I don't really want to have less time to hatch the eggs. Everything else seems pretty nice. Including the eggs, okay? I'm not gonna lie. But the thing is, I, you know, I'd rather get Stardust. So, let's hopefully hope they go for grass Pokemon. Come on, guys. Go for grass. We want that Stardust. So, anyways, yeah. We'll be down there. Um, I, yeah, like I said, I won't be there right away. But I will I might show up. I don't know what time. So, anyways, um, we're, we're doing this Charizard. We're doing pretty good. Taking it out. There's ten of us. We're all using Super Effective. Look at the Vaporeon Circle. So... <laughs> Uh, I'm going to have to go check out some more Ray 3s. I'm missing so many Tyranitars. I, I just checked the chat a little bit ago. We have a huge chat. And there's so many Tyranitars and I'm missing them all right now. Okay, so I think that about does it. Um, I'm going to have to go test out those level 3 raids. A lot of other ones to see what's really going on here. Because there's no doubt that they increased the the uh, difficulty of these level 3 raids. Of all raids. Of all raids, okay? So I'm going to have to go try to solo the Gengar because I do believe he's the easiest out of all the level 3 raids. Um, next might be Alakazam. I'm not too sure. Maybe Vaporeon. I haven't... Oh, guarantee! I have to still go check. But um, anyways, enjoy the rest of this video, guys. And more conclusions. Get ready for Legendaries coming this weekend, guys. Get Collect those rare candies. Save them up and start getting all that stardust because we're going to be powering up some legendaries if we catch them. All right, take care and enjoy the rest of this video, guys, and thank you for watching. Later!